What if Thor was raised by the Frost Giants? King Laufe of the Frost Giants leads his people in a battle against the Asgardians. After a fierce months-long fight, equally strong and neither one yielding to the other, Laufe finally gets an opportunity. When Odin makes a mistake, the giant uses it to hit Odin with his enchanted hammer eyes crusher, killing him. The Frost Giants sack Asgard, leaving only Freya and Thor alive. Freya to rot in prison, and Thor to be raised as Laufey's adopted son, a final insult to his fallen enemy. Spending years in the frozen world, Thor begins adjusting to it. He and Loki join a hunting party of young Frost Giants. Thor faces against the monster, summoning lightning to slay the beast, earning Laufey's praise. Laufey humiliates Loki, suggesting Thor may one day wield Ice Crusher. Loki, bitter and humiliated, seeks solace in the dungeons, where he discovers Freya. She becomes his confidant, offering him the warmth and understanding he lacks. Over the years, he secretly visits her, learning magic and enjoying her kindness. Meanwhile, Laufey pits Thor against Grimmer, who challenges Thor's right to the throne. Thor fights and defeats Grimmer, earning Ice Crusher as his prize. Loki, seeing his brother's new status, grows more detached from him. Laufey orders both Thor and Loki to join him in a war against Surtur and the Fire Giants. Loki, unwilling to go to war, uses his magic to free Freya and escape. Laufey, suspicious, leads Thor on a search for the traitor. As they walk through the frozen ruins of Asgard, they find Loki and Freya attempting to rebuild the Bifrist to flee to Midgard. Laufey attacks Loki, but Loki stabs him in the eye and throat, killing his father. Enraged, Thor attacks Loki with Ice Crusher. In the ensuing battle, Freya is accidentally killed by Thor's magic. Horrified, Thor stops, but Loki pleads for his life, explaining he only wanted freedom. Thor spares Loki, telling him to leave. Loki offers Thor a chance to join him in Midgard, but Thor refuses. With Laufey dead, Thor must defend Jotunheim from the many enemies of the Nine Realms. Though not a frost giant by blood, Thor has found purpose in protecting the people who raised him. Loki vanishes across the Bifrost, while Thor mourns, lightning cracking across the sky. We get a glimpse of Loki living his life on Earth with his children, and that is how the comic ends.